What's up, guys, and welcome to the Golden T-Mobile World Championship Commentary Bunker, right? This is this is where the magic happens, so welcome in. We've got the World Championship Week 9 Qualifying Finals coming up here momentarily. We've got Blav, the 8th seed. 8th seed trying to pull off this miracle run, has played great, has endured, outlasted these last couple opponents, versus Kins, Greg Kinsel, the former world champion on the arcade game, who uh, over this quarantine has really worked on his mobile game, has gotten it in shape, looks poised to make a run here. I have not seen this match. I'm going to be watching it live with you guys. You'll be hearing my honest commentary, I swear. So let's get going. Enjoy. And here they are on the left with his ears Dangling in the wind is Blav, who's been just remarkable all week long against Kins with his trademark goldfish. As we go to the week nine tail of the tape, we mentioned the eight seed in Blav. Kins, the two seed here, uh, got a late start, but doesn't look like it now. Look at that average score there. And again, a guy with a ton of championship experience in the arcade world. He knows what these moments are like. Uh, I think he'll be ready for this. And off and running, we are on Hawthorne Manor, the front nine here. Ken just going to kind of bomb it over, take the little shortcut. Blav going to use the super roll here. Uh, a little bit of a less aggressive line, but do the exact same thing. Both are fine. As we've mentioned all week long, hole one is an opportunity to use that wind cutter and get aggressive. That's what Blav is doing here. Cinematic view. This thing is coming down. It looks a little deep, but fine. Fine, fine, fine. No GSPs. Ken's going to go with that four iron here. Line looks good, maybe just a little bit right. Oh, are we GSP-able? We are not. So, both guys after one, uh, no GSPs. This is a nine-hole match. You'll see the scorecard here. There it is. A couple of birdies. Nine-hole match. This is the finals. Winner qualifies for the World Championship. $30,000 top prize. If you guys have not uh, learned about this yet, download the game. GoldenT.com slash Apple or Android. We're super excited about it. We've doubled the field and we are off and running here in a big, big way. Great shot points are going to be your tiebreakers in this match if it if it's a tie game. So a shot like this could be important. Thank you, Bla, for making me look uh, just just well well timed, well done. 9,000 of those. One of the other things I've been noticing with a lot of these top tier players is how well they play the slopes of the green. Even if it's a left two or left three, look at how severe that is when it lands. The ball lands and reacts, and you're, you're seeing a lot of that. Guys are adjusting accordingly. Kins knocks in the putt. I love that little goldfish swimming around. And Blav does the same, but now has the GSP advantage. So, lots of interesting holes coming up here. Uh, this is one of them, that high loft driver coming into play, not messing around with the sniper. Okay, not, not super close, but that's fine. Blav going with the Maniacs, getting that height and distance. Line looks pretty good. How about the distance? A little bit long here. Not an easy shot. This is a straight putt, which helps. Oh, no. But he pushed it. I That wasn't a full-on jinx, but that was that was just a push. You could see it early on. And, um, you know, moments like this, they get a little tricky. So Blav uh, drops a stroke. Kins gains a stroke. Suddenly minus four to minus three. That's a big moment there. This is a big moment here, too. To, uh, par five. Now, this is the way that you can just get after this thing. Just go up and over everything. Blab's going to go the other way. We've seen some players do this before. That's what I love about these different courses. So many ways to tackle these designs. This is the way I typically go, but I'm not very good at this, so that's not saying much. Par 5 here, bringing it in. That's really, really nice. Great. Safe shot. That's better than safe. Safe's not doing that justice. Blab's got to just hit a little baby cut around those trees. Bringing in left to right. Oh, my goodness. That was a great-looking shot. Aggressive attempt. Um, nearly cut the hole in half. Uh, should be able to putt that just fine. No big deal. Loses the Ranger ball. A couple of eagles there. So still one-shot deficit. Plenty of interesting holes. This is a really interesting closing hole as well. Um, so stay tuned to that. This is a, a you, This is a hole that in the arcade version of the game, the arcade sitting behind me, is sometimes drivable. I've tried it uh, a couple of times and failed spectacularly. But what it is, if it's not drivable, is this is a very tackleable hole. You'll have a wind cutter here, just like you do here, and you'll have a chip. And let's see if he can get it close. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Kins' chipping game 
uh, has been extraordinary. Blav going to try and do the same. I love the line. I love it. Oh, man. So both of these guys, they surround the kip, cup. Kins goes left. Blav goes right. Ooh, okay. Well, a little dicey there. So no eagle, but a couple of really good looks at it as we move on to hole six. Seven is one to keep an eye on as well. This is a one to keep an eye on as well. So you're going to go around the trees to the right. You can go left. You can go right. This looks good. Oh, that's great. Great, great shot. GSP's there. That's important when you consider what those can mean in the long run. These guys are about equal in GSP. Around the trees. You normally go to the left side. I'd say I've been going to the left side more times than not. But there does not matter. Blab going to do the same based on the tee position. This is coming in really nice, really good looking line. Oh, that's a great shot. It's, you know, you hit that rough, kind of deaden the ball. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. He scoots it by. So another, another missed putt, and it was a, it was a bunny, right? That's, it, you're going to give that. It's a gimme on the golf course, at least with the people I play. We, you know, we don't putt those things. We're cheaters. So another missed putt there, and that's significant. And suddenly, Kinsler has a two-stroke lead heading into hole seven. I mentioned this as a hole to watch. Uh, not, not a terribly difficult look, it would seem. Just want to keep it all, uh, over to the right side so you're closer to the pin. So that's something to look at. Uh, should be able to get under those trees there, which you can. Get up, up, up. All right, that's a good shot. Kin's going to do the same. Under. Oh, no. Okay, so suddenly this is very interesting. Hits the tree. Now has to recover with the five wood. Trying to not hit this 100%. Gets it on. Really solid recovery. But suddenly we got things going on. We got a long putt here for Blav. And after missing a couple of shorties, nails that one. That's massive. And Kins, okay, recovery there. So very, very interesting turn of events. Kinsler hits the tree. Blav secures a, a really a massive putt. Delicate little par three. It's kind of downhill, but an, a, a, a green that's up a bit. That's fine. All you have to do is kind of, it's distance control 101. You don't want to get too aggressive. Wind cutter is a good ball here because you get some of that spin. The line on this shot looks great. Let's see where the distance is. Oh, that's excellent. That is superb. And that's going to give Kinsler now a defining advantage in great shot points heading into the last hole. What does that mean? Well, that means if, they, if Kinsler gives up a shot on the last hole, he's not giving up on here, obviously. Um he still would get the edge with GSPs as it stands right now. Again, we have another hole to play. Oh! 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 I am, I am speechless. I am speechless. That, that putt looked good. I don't know how it scooted by. Blav, I know what you're saying right now as you made that or missed that. Uh, I know you said as you tapped it in. As we go into hole nine, back to a two-stroke deficit and Kins here, and that's it. That's it. That's a great shot. Blav, it, it really doesn't matter at this point, given what just happened. Let's see what he does, though. This looks really good also. Oh, that's phenomenal. That's better than that. good. That's phenomenal. However, however, look at this. GSPs. Think about what, what might have been with those GSPs when we count them up. Advantage. Still a great shot worth celebrating here. Not an easy cut to make because you don't want to overcut it. And you certainly can't undercut it because you're going to hit the concrete and go flying around. Kinsler now taps it in. And there you have it. Greg Kinsler, a world champion, multi-time world champion on the arcade game. Now qualified for the Golden T-Mobile World Championship. And he's got a shot to double up on titles. We can't wait to see him. We can't wait for seven more weeks of this.